WHC. And we've got that fight. Well, more or less, but Al has nowhere to retreat to. The bow spam is happening. It's World Cup 2024, episode three, and we're already hot in the action. Colin, and we have another fight between Remy and uh, insert.jpg that I'm quickly going to go to. Remy enderpearled, and uh, the, well, that paid off. That paid off. All right, so I have to quickly go back. No, that's the, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so the standoff, Colin is actually going to be able to backstab Valnus here. Valnus is down, but Al has got to realize, oh, ma'am, I'm in deeper poo-poo than I thought. Colin is uh, hot on the chase. He's got a diamond pick, so he's gonna she's gonna chase faster. There you go. This is done. Rasger actually f found R10. Where are they? R10 would be way back there. Did not, and R10 was shot by Rasger. So many things happening all at once. And there was that on the surface. It appears to have happened on the surface. R10 was just not following his teammate fast enough. I got to say, you have to keep together when you're stalking. You have to keep together. You have to make sure you're keeping up in order to back up your 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 teammate. But uh, I mean, Colin, Colin got three kills, but is now alone. One of the solos that are left in this Team Rasger uh, avenging Valnius. He's got a, he's got a head uh, that is, and that's, you know, that's not worth it. Cause I, it, I don't know who had, let me, let me check uh, Colin here and uh, see if Valnius was the one with the brewing stand because if Colin has the brew the brewing stuff well he got some potions of speed but he does uh, he has the brewing stand now he has the brewing stand but does not have the nether wart so no potions will be brewed until until a nether wart team uh, the team that went to the nether and collected the potion stuff first finds Colin and, and gets the brewing stand back unless actually I might I might be speaking too fast uh, but we have another fight Tony goes down to Cypher Kai uh, with the uh, lava placement to assist uh, Kai. Actually, uh, let me see if Kai is the one who got uh, wait, shaky and Tencent. Tenten got uh, a fight and Tenten was uh, killed by shaky. There's so many fights happening right now so fast that I'm missing. I'm missing out. So it's important that you watch all the perspectives, because you can tell right here, <laughs> uh, Tony's teammate, Light, uh, Tony's two teammates are actually in the area, so Cypher Kai uh, might have to deal with Roberto La Tortuga. He also is not alone, so this fight could happen. Guam is right there as well, uh, so maybe they're going to decide, you know what, we're not going to... We're not going to overextend our stay here because the entire Tony's entire team is generally speaking in the area. I think, uh, I think, I think Greeples is like basically strip mining in the wrong direction. So, uh, I'm not sure what what Greeple's plan is with all this, but sometimes it's confusing. It's difficult to keep track of, of where people have gone, but it looks like, looks like a great team here. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, Roberto have, and, uh, and uh, light have decided we're, we're, we're going right out and uh, hopefully Greeple's will try and follow. Yep. 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 Everyone's pillaring out. They're going to be, are they thinking they're going to wait for these two on the surface? Because they seem to think they're, they found like an uh, unexplored cave down here and that they might, they might, you know, uh, get more stuff. But as you can see from the cobble right there, that should tell you that it is not. So they're, everyone's going to be pillaring out. 
So let's see what the potential field of battle looks like. Some, uh, some, uh, you know, MLG suffocation from gravel. It's not like I've never done it. <laughs> it makes me feel good to see how many other actually skilled players do it as well. Um, so Ferris is taking damage from that skeleton. But okay, so they know, they know there there's going to be players possibly pillaring out. They have to... I mean, obviously, now they're going to be pulling out in lava, so they're going to be like, hmm, they can see the little drips there. They're like, hmm, this might not be the best place to pillar up. So that might actually help them out where they basically pillar out in an unexpected area. And I think Greeples is, yeah, joining in on the fray here. So I'm going to... I'm going to teleport away for a little bit because you know, it might take a, a while before, you know, everyone pillar is up. But while I accidentally got to them, they're still shifted. So they saw something that tells them, I think we're being, we're being stalked. They have a feeling. They, they, there's something in the air that says, hmm, something is making them want to go, hmm. And they're like, we better stay shifted as we make our exit they're gonna come here oh that's what it is well the rest of gray team the other two have joined and uh they say hey uh, we see these guys on top of you so don't pull her out now so this is so important to have like basically your team having your back like that the it it's it's critical so now red team is off chasing the other two uh they've got split off but they have such a uh you know a lead in running away uh and they split up as well it looks like so where's where's the other one so not sure where the other one is, but uh, EGL's just like luring everyone away and uh, is confident in his ability to hide. But see, Red Team is now chasing him. They're chasing him basically in the wrong direction. He managed to give them the run around in the forest. Uh, and uh, basically, yeah, it's a, it's a clean getaway for everybody. Uh, Joshua there. And, and I believe that over there is Kai. Yep. Making a clean getaway. So you won't... Sometimes it's not the fight, right? The fight seems like the exciting things, but sometimes the big play is actually how you manage to evade the other team. And that could be a winning move. It could be... It could be something that is an essential component to obtaining victory. Uh, okay, Hecticity changed the game config. So Kai uh, made a brewing stand. Uh, so it looks like more, more brewing stuff is around. But let me... Okay, he's crafted a lot of brewing stands. The, so the Netherwart is here. They have obtained the Netherwart. There's not that much, but uh, they're going to make a last batch of potions. This is the World Cup, and uh, these players are pro cavers by and large. And so at this point, most of the teams are kind of ready to start hunting. They'd like to find an encounter that is going to pay off and give them enough time to go back caving to get more healing, right? So that they're ready for meetup. And that's the kind of strategy they're 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 on to of course this is not the same for one shaky who is one of the solos now he's like well there's no currently there's no team fight i'm gonna win uh so it's all about trying to give himself the tools to be able to survive as long as possible and maybe maybe turn the tide at the very end that's the kind of strategy that is probably going for here uh and otherwise, yeah, we're getting a lot of teams that are starting to uh, hunt. 
An abandoned village right here. I assume this has been looted, of course. Whoops, that is... No, actually, uh, someone uh, could have found this on episode one and uh, found, like, a, a great a great treasure. Red team now wandering around on the surface. I don't recall in episode one anyone finding uh, a temple. And I would be uh, quite surprised if someone found one in episode three. That doesn't mean there wasn't one. There's so many messages in chat that uh, I miss some. You're probably wondering, like, Flues, why are you still a spectator? You miss, you miss, you miss such a, so much of the stuff. You miss that Rocket has just run by a village, and that village really sucked. Ghosts uh, finding some stuff. Ah. Uh, you know, it's a high-level enchantment book, but it's just not enchantments that are relevant. Well, though he had another book, whoops, right there, Protection 1, okay. Oh, well, he, did, he decided to still take it. Is someone planning to fish? Could be, uh, especially if you have uh, tools that will help you uh, fish and maybe get a power 4 bow or something from fishing i mean i've seen players do that that has happened in the past sometimes uh you know those uh those off the beaten path strategies can pay off i'm not sure that's necessarily something they'll go for but i you know keeping the book to see if you know whoops that's not what i want keeping the book around to see if you know maybe things are gonna mm, pay off I don't think these will meet up, especially since that player over there is pillaring up and uh, leaving the premises. That's Colin, one of the two solos. He's top fragging it right now, but uh, he's in a situation where it's going to be very, very difficult to get more kills. Very difficult to get more kills. Um, Ferris, fearlessly uh, checkerboarding this uh, this lava. I keep clicking the the wrong the wrong button. Uh, we've got a lot of cons consolidation. Uh, there's some teams still caving, but there's a uh, there's a lot of teams on the surface, and I feel like there's gonna be a sur a real surface fight, not just a skirmish like we saw earlier with uh, with the red team there, who. Uh, we're trying to get Kai and got lured away highly successfully. Ferris still checkerboarding uh, like a champion. Uh, Rasgur in the caves. They they kind of lost the potions. They well they they still have the potions they brewed, but I think they lost the means to brew more potions. Who strip mines diagonally? I think that was actually strip mining to uh, to to get to teammates, right? To try and uh, reunite. Uh, but my God, I'm already I'm already sad inside that uh, strip mining is allowed. Strip mining diagonally. That's that's just going too far. That's going too far. Uh, but actually, I'm kind of on board with strip mining in the 1.20 versions. The caves are so huge. If you strip mine and uh, do it with uh, the swimming pose, you know, in a one by one tunnel with the trap door or, or you know, water bucket, you know, whatever technique you want to use to to uh, to get in a one by one tunnel in a one block high tunnel. Uh, I'm I'm okay with that because you strip mine like that and you can't hide. You cannot hide. Uh, is that the same one we saw earlier? I think it is. This is not... These uh, these libraries and the strongholds, just not the best. Not the best. Fierce was bravely checkerboarding, and... Uh, Fierce, uh, what have you done, son? What was that? Oh, did he get skellied? I think he got skellied into this. 
No. Well, I don't know how, how I don't know how this happened. But uh obviously that hurt, right? That hurt. That was a, a lot of pain and scalding and burning was involved. Rocket getting the anviling done. Spittoon, which I actually don't think is is truly the main name here with Skylord and Greg. Uh, let me see. Blah, 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 blah. Missing probably all the information. No, it is Spittoon. Okay, Spittoon uh, representing uh, Bulgaria. I was like, uh, is that really going to be the name? See, sometimes I'm, I've am i got players that I'm quite unfamiliar with in the UHC World Cup. And uh, because they may be sometimes they're players that will uh, gladly represent their, their country, of course, in a UHC World Cup, but otherwise don't tend to record UHCs. But he's going to be meeting up uh, Rai Fry with the uh, hardcore strip mining action. Nope, to pillar out. Okay. I mean, it's it's as you want. As you want. Oh, uh, okay. Well... Will he mine straight into this beach? Yes. That might be comical. Okay, good reflexes. Good reflexes. Well done. Well done. Uh, no comedy happened. It's just like, uh, yeah, the, the setup to the joke like was there, but uh, no punchline ever came. Roberto La Tortuga is in this cave representing mexico has a fallen teammate uh, but also a kill to his credit and a lot of a lot more caving that is going to be happening uh is it me or is it like there's 17 strongholds in this map more book still crap Oops, I uh, I got gerbated. I misclicked and actually randomly teleported elsewhere. But none of these libraries are great. Uh, I think maybe that's on purpose because sometimes these stronghold libraries, even in 1.8, that was the the kind of pl place where you might find a like a power four potentially a power four book or something like that. Uh, and it appears that either they've all been removed or this is a cursed seed <laughs> where all the stronghold libraries suck of course uh, we didn't get to see the final final one unless i do it right here is it this one yeah okay let's have a look here oh there you go it's, well okay knockback books you could have a big knockback. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, you know, that's not nothing. Big knockback can do stuff. And it's not, it's not game breaking. Cypher Kai fishing. So these guys have decided to fish. They don't have, of course, uh, the big enchanted book, but sometimes fishing is that thing where you can fish up uh, a power four bow. Flame is off, so even if they fish up uh, um, a flame bow or something like that, uh, it's not going to be useful. But for example, if they fished up an infinity uh, book, could could come in handy. Sometimes uh, arrows are at a premium, uh, but that that tended to be more the case in the vanilla uh, UHCs. Um, see, when you strip mine next to someone else's strip mine, and you don't know that you're strip mining next to someone else's strip mine. This is what it looks like. I just hope it's not actually like Skylord strip mining back the way he came from, where he's just not going to find stuff <laughs> as a result. Um, still got a lot of caving to do in this game. There's still a lot of time left to uh, get the odds in your favor before meetup, but we're getting closer and closer. Uh, we'll see you next episode where we'll be even closer to meet up. Bye-bye. 
Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.